Ooh, it's been a while. So, uh, what am I approaching? Ten months without doing a video. Uh, so, been working on some things. Tried to get it to work out. Did not work in my favor, but it's all fine. Um, as far as why haven't I been making videos? Uh, just schedule complications. Had to adjust my life. Um, currently am not playing flesh and blood anymore. I'm still buying sealed product. I'm still buying cold foils. Uh, just the way my time zone set up and everything. Just can't find the time to play, unfortunately. So I reverted back to, uh, as far as playing goes, I've just been grinding out on Apex Legends. So currently stuck at Platinum, but that's what I can do with my time frame. Uh, but there is an interesting news as far as playing goes. I do plan on doing something very unheard of. Uh, most people that know me know that I work in the adult entertainment industry. Um, and so what happened back 10 months ago, I uh, basically took a job position. Uh, that job position basically changed my hours, changed my free time. Uh, but with that, uh, I do plan on doing something very unheard of. Uh, I was thinking about flesh and blood. The only problem is, is that when I say flesh and blood, I think I've only met one person that's ever known what it is. So, and then on top of that, uh, 30 year celebrations coming up so I mainly was like well the best thing to do go to magic so I've actually managed to prepare and get ready uh, for a magic the gathering sealed tournament at the club I work at uh, the video after this one I'm gonna try to get all the details of the information there and then I'll use it as a promotion to kick it out. I did have other videos prepped up, but editing everything together, uh, I don't have enough, um, don't have enough footage to basically merge everything and then have what I had going in my mind. So I ended up scrapping the entire project. So I'm just gonna go to good old YouTube, do my usual face-to-face uh, -face commentary video. Uh, now, as far as box openings, because I'm not playing anymore, I do not plan on doing any more box openings. I feel like that's just throwing away money. Um, and then as far as comics go, the only thing I'm looking forward to is uh, Todd McFarlane is doing a signing on CGC in November. The only thing that sucks is I have family that's coming back from deployment and I already bought tickets for the Forever Young, so I will be in Vegas if you are there. Um, so the Forever Young concert, we set that up a long time ago and I do plan on going. So the Todd McFarlane signature, even though I should get my Malibu Sun 13 sign, it would probably go up extra mental more in value. Uh, I'm kind of sketchy on it. As far as the Spider-Man 300, first appearance of Venom, I do not plan to get that signed by Todd McFarlane because I feel like everybody gets that book signed. And I feel like over time it will be more rare in an untouched signature than with. Could be a dumb move on my part, but at the same time, you know, every time there's a Todd McFarlane signature, I swear he, he probably gets like a thousand copies of Spider-Man 300 that he gets to sign. Um, that or Spawn number one or something like that. Now the Malibu, because there's so many, so few of them, it'd be even more rare to get a signature on there um, or even possibly a sketch. But uh, right now the way things are looking, uh, it's not gonna, it's not gonna fit together. So. If you are new to this and uh, don't know anything about uh, sealed tournaments or anything like that, is what I'm gonna be hosting at my club October 3rd. Uh, I'm gonna try to start getting everybody registered and everything. We open at noon. Uh, you can start registering, getting everything set up uh, at one, and then I want to uh, start play at two. Um, and then it should run to about 6, 6.30. It's gonna be a single elimination prize pool. As far as the prizes go, 
Uh, I'm going to be doing a full collector box as the grand prize. Uh, as far as prize support, there is second and third. Uh, second will be eight booster packs of Dominaria United, and third place will be four packs of Dominaria United. Um, as far as what you get, so I did manage. Uh, I wasn't able, surprisingly, because of all the legends, uh, theories and everything, it was actually extremely hard. I had to go out on the secondary market and acquire, uh, I had to go out and acquire the pre-release kits uh, for Dominaria. Usually, my connections, when I'm like, hey, can I get XYZ, usually it's ready to go. Uh, Dominaria was completely different. Uh, and also, if it's the first time playing uh, and you want to experience what a sealed environment is, um, I will also be offering, because I get them from the distributor, uh, I will be offering sleeves uh, for your decks if you want to take care of your cards. Uh, and then usually, uh, if you go with a friend, you can actually split this in half um, because you get 100 and the decks are only 40. So they'll be left over and um, I think the price on those I'm just gonna make it even five and then we have plenty of basic lands so you don't need to worry about that I will be supplying those as well um, but it's gonna be interesting but as far as buying sealed product uh, I still like the artwork like uprising and all the like cold foil, ma not majestic sounds, purple diamond. Come on. Marbles? That's what they are. The marbles. Uh, at first, I'm still with the Fab 2.0. I still have my skepticism. Uh, I'm still not in a hurry to go out and buy all the cold foils or even the marbles or anything like that. I think because I'm doing investing only pure investing, I need to take a different approach. Uh, Cause I'm still feeling the burn from Monarch. I have a full set of cold foils from Monarch plus what I pulled on videos. And then I have, I don't know what my seal position is. It's a couple cases. Uh, and then also later, this week actually, uh, this Friday, Rudy's doing his 6.9 anniversary, which you're looking at $600 a box. Uh, I may do a box opening on that. I thought about what if I leave him sealed, then he's doing deals with what's in the boxes. So I don't know if those have an expiration date. So I'm debating on getting some and then opening one just to see what it is. But at the same time, I did buy two of the gym holder cards, and I still feel a burn from that. But at the same time, not really, because that's personal collection, and it's probably not gonna sell it. Uh, I did think about selling one, but I still hold my ground. Uh, I have not sold any cold foils, only acquired uh, since I started this channel. Um, have been tempted though. It's been tempted. I have been tempted uh, to sell some, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm just going to keep acquiring and then eventually down the road uh, I will start selling. But right now I still don't have the interest or feel like my hand is forced. So even though I'm not playing, it doesn't mean I can't invest. Uh, Unfortunately, invest is the boring side where you don't actually get to play the cards or the meta or anything like that. Um, I've watched watched one tournament with the Uprising cards, but I don't know. I'm just thinking back to all the other sets and I'm just like, man, it was fun, it was exciting, but at the same time, you gotta pour a lot of time into it. It's time I do not have right now to learn metas, uh, to learn what people are doing, what's a counter, or if I can do what they're doing better. Um, so it's easy just to take a casual approach, 
back up back into video games it's an easy pit to fall into uh, and then I can just invest on the side um, but with that said I'm gonna close this update out uh, and then I'm gonna try to shoot this little short-term you call it a promo promotion commercial I think it's a promotion uh, but hopefully everything's good but yes I didn't disappear and fail I didn't turn around and sell everything uh, I've just been able unable to make appearances and unable to really keep keep up with what's going on uh, so I've been filling my time with other activities basically that's the easy easy explanation but uh, if you are gonna show up at my club October 3rd all right October 3rd it's a Monday uh, 2 p.m. Uh, address is gonna be 141 Ware Drive and uh, or you can just look it up on Google Maps the pony uh, or you can look us up on Facebook Pony Bama or you can look up my work account which is Pony Phil uh, you can contact me on there as well and I'll break it down for you as well all right until the promo and the next time I film a video um, hopefully if there's another site or another set sorry if there's another flesh and blood set that actually gets me like super pumped and amped uh, hopefully I'll just you know do a video on that covering it uh, something to, to that nature or even you know maybe I just swap over and start posting clips from Apex on here I really don't know but I'll see you guys later